My name is John Webking. Um, we're in Ridgeway, Wisconsin, and I work at Metal Arc Organics. We're a 700 acre diversified organic grain farm, and we raise grass fed beef as well. But what we've really focused on um, in the last few years is extending our rotation and growing a lot of food grade uh, wheat, rye, buckwheat, spelt, uh, corn, and dry beans for the for the food grade market. Basically what we're doing through the grant is uh, keeping ownership of the grain that we raise, cleaning it here, sending it to a miller, and the value-added producer grant helps us with the milling costs and some of the costs in developing our brand and marketing and logistics and stuff like that, but then we're able to maintain ownership of the grain all the way through to a bag of flour and sell flour directly. Farmer business partnerships can be a really great way to start these grants because you have the farmer at the center of it and then you can basically form a partnership with a processor um, and then both both benefit from the from the program. They're, they're hugely um, important for farms that have the ambition to do value-added products because it'll, in our case it's allowed us to start selling flour, developing uh, clients um, have a brand, have a reputation already in the in the marketplace before we've invested, um, you know, what is amounts to hundreds of thousands of dollars in our own milling business. Um, you know, we we were doing about a hundred thousand dollars in sales during the grant in flour, and we don't have a flour mill, so um, it's allowed us to start that. And then the hope is, I would imagine, it's the case with most farms that do the value producer grant that when the grant is over then that's the springboard that you need to, to take the next steps and create enough demand that we can uh, not just be benefiting our farm, but benefiting this whole community of organic grain farmers in the you know, southern driftless.